In the previous video, I showed you how to import a header formatted transcript into NVivo 11. In this video, I'm going to show you how to segment the transcript using the autocode feature in NVivo 11. Now, I wish to code everything that the interviewee said into a node. Why? Well, so that I can easily explore what they said, make comparison, add case classifications, and run matrix queries. Let's begin. So here we have the transcript that we imported in the previous video. There are two ways to access the autocode feature in NVivo 11. The first way you can click on Analyze and click on Autocode. An alternative way is just right click on the transcript and click on Autocode. The first step is to select how we would like to autocode the transcript. And we are going to autocode the transcript using the source style or structure. That is the heading styles that we applied to the speaker identifiers. So we select use the source style or structure. Next, then we're going to use the heading style that we applied to the speaker identifier. And the heading style is head and vivo. Select it. Go to next. We are going to code the speaker identifiers into a new node. And so we create a new node. We're going to give the name of the node as the name of the company. Inkling, and that's it. Click on finish. Now, if we go to our nodes, we have created a new node, and inside it, we have everything that Matt said. Okay, and Matt is the interviewee, 82.88% 8, coverage, which is good. You always want your interviews to have at least 80% of the interview speaking. And then we have what the interview asked. Double click and these are the questions. Okay. And the comments that they made during the interview. Let me quickly show you how powerful autocode feature is. I'm going to create a case node for Matt. And to do that, all I have to do is just click on Matt, right click, create us, create a node. Cases. I want to create a case, and a case is a unit of observation. And we're going to name it Matt. No description. I'm going to color it. Attribute values. I have created a classification for this. Okay, the interview classification. And uh, I'll show you how to do that in a little while. Uh, so, male, Matt is male, and uh, he is less than 30 years old. Okay, all right. So how did I create the classification? I went to create, and then I clicked on case classification, and I created a classification. So um, now if we go to our cases, and we have a case format, let me do a quick word query on everything that Matt said. And for that, I'll go to query, and I'm going to do a word frequency search. And I'm going to select items and I'm going to go to cases. Mat select. Okay. And run query. So here's everything that Matt said. Let's see the word crowd. Yeah, there we have it. And so here's the word crowd for Matt. As you can see, people and company are pretty big so i would very much like to see what is the intersection between the people and the company as a theme so just running a quick word frequency query can tell you a little bit a lot about what is going on in doing the interview all right so that's it for this tutorial please check out our website when you have time and have a good day